Thanks so much, Peter. Well, they were the proud new parents of twins when they noticed that their baby girl's head was growing at an alarming rate. Then they got the terrifying call that she had a, quote, significant brain defect. But a miracle surgery using a little super glue saved this little girl's life. Darby and Mark Finkelstein join us now from Chicago with seven month old Jolie, who's talking. I can hear her chiming in. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> she's not shy. She's still That's a baby. Fantastic. And with us here in New York is uh, Dr. Alejandro Berenstein, the man who saved little Jolie's life. He's the director of the Hyman Newman Institute. Institute of Neurology and Neurosurgery at Roosevelt Hospital. Welcome to all of you. Darby, I want to start with you. Jolie, who's chiming in, was born with <laughs> hydrocephalus. What were her symptoms? Well, you know, I don't think it was initially obvious right after her birth, but shortly after she turned three months, um, Jolie, her head was growing, we noticed, at a pretty significant rate. I mean, we had always, to be honest, called her our little alien baby, and only a mother with her own love can say that. You know, her head, she was born very small. She was a little bit small for her age, and so her head, her forehead was always a little bit big, and she had very big eyes, and kind of tapered down to her chin. But after she turned three months, you know, that um, that look was starting to become more exaggerated. And even more than that, she was starting to look very veiny um, around her head. Like she had really protruding uh, veins all over her head. Mm. Um, and so that was really kind of the key look uh, that we had noticed um, that just wasn't seeming quite right. Yeah, sure. Uh, and doctor, I want to bring you in. Hydrocephalus is a fatal disease. 95% of children die before their first birthday. Yet somehow, super glue can fix this. Doctor, explain how. Well, the, the problem of Jolie was actually a short circuit between the blood vessels of the brain that prevented the absorption of the fluid. The brain is surrounded by fluid, and fluid is produced and it's reabsorbed. If you have a malformed blood vessel or system, and in this case called a vein of gallon malformation, then the water, the cerebrospinal fluid cannot be absorbed. So imagine if you eat, you can't go to the bathroom, it just keeps on expanding. So Mark, when you heard that the doctor was going to use super glue inside your daughter's brain, what did you think? Yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty interesting, but I think, you know, everything happened so quickly and we had very good advice from a number of different sources, including our local neurosurgeon. But uh, after everything that had happened, you're kind of like, all right, I guess if that's the, if that's the treatment, that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> Jolie has a lot to say about this, as we can hear. Darby, how is she doing now after this surgery? I She's, she's been doing great. Um, we, you know, we couldn't be happier to see the little happy, uh, easygoing baby that she's turned into. I mean, she was a pretty, you know, before all of the um, diagnosis and the surgery, she was a pretty fussy, feisty baby, and she is just the opposite of that now. She's just happy and likes to charm people, and is, she's doing great. Well, she's beautiful, and we know that all of those physical symptoms that you saw, you say, just changed almost overnight, and obviously she's... She's healthy and robust <laughs> now. Uh, Darby and Mark and Jolie Finkelstein and Dr. Alejandro Berenstein, thanks so much for coming in to tell us about this very unusual yet highly effective surgery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.